What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are out here today at the Moore Sublot Copart. Man, thank you so much for watching guys. I appreciate all of you being here. Thank you to Copart for letting me come out here. Let's jump into this. Number one on my list, ladies and gentlemen, a C6 Corvette. She's, eh, she's seen better days. Definitely undercarriage damage. It started with an S and now it's a non-runner. So, hmm, a little curious about that. This is an 08 with 54,000 miles on the odometer, guys. Man, up top, it actually looks really good. <laughs> up top, it looks really good. Yeah, this is intriguing. When you see an S that was taken off and then covered up by an N, chances are it probably doesn't run and the undercarriage damage if you didn't catch it earlier you couldn't see it in the video there it is man i don't know what this this poor thing ran over but oh wow yeah there's lots of damage under here lots of damage Fifty-four thousand miles though guys oh killing me killing me is it a stick or an automatic i can't yeah and i'm not i'm not going to take the tape off we'll see if we can get in through the other side maybe looks good back here the rest of the car looks really really oh man they taped it i i guess i just didn't catch it okay so we can't get in this car we're not going to be able to really look at the interior i don't know if you guys can even see in here like this but there she is looks good unfortunately that means we can't even attempt to start or at least crank it over I, i'd probably be real hesitant to start this one but I, I would definitely like to uh see if it would even crank over sadly we're not going to be able to do that i wonder if it's even got any oil this will not have the dry sump system so it's just whatever's in the oil pan is in there if anything yeah it's full it's full Okay, so at least we know that it didn't damage uh, the oil pan to the point of losing oil where it could have caused catastrophic engine damage. So I would be willing to bet that this thing would probably, it would probably fire up, guys. Unfortunately, we're not going to have that opportunity today, so we're going to move on to the next one. Next on my list is another Corvette, a C4. I had, I've actually had a couple of these timeless cars in my opinion and i guess it's another one where you either love it or hate it there's not much in between i've always thought this was a very classic style corvette guys it's absolutely beautiful this is a 95 so it should be pre-obd2 in fact 95 was an interesting year at gm because i think they went obd 1.5 which was a mess <laughs> i wouldn't want to buy a 95 gm it's got beautiful wheels. The miles are 112, 470. Looks like it went under a fence or something. You see these scratches like this a lot when cars go underneath like a barbed wire fence. All down the side, there's just damage everywhere. Damage everywhere. Now that doesn't concern me all that much, but this side, unfortunately, is just, this side is trashed. Man, the, the whole rear quarter is gone. Could you fiberglass repair this? you tell me personally i'm thinking no i'm thinking the only way to fix this is to replace this quarter which i don't think is that big of a deal i'm pretty sure all these panels just unbolt so you should be able to replace this section and this well that's probably done for too so you need another bumper another quarter section the door too yeah the door took it right here completely shattered the door as well what about up here oh man and there it is yeah that right there just puts it over the top for me i know crazy right like one little thing you'd be like really that's gonna get you that's gonna prevent you yeah absolutely the amount of damage right here what it's going to take to fix this for me is just not going to be worth it i could deal with a quarter section a rear bumper a door and a hood luckily on these the hood and fender are one in the same so this fender arch right here is integrated into this hood see this there you go so not a big deal to just replace the entire hood assembly and contrary to what you might think these hoods are not all that expensive but 
uh, now you got into this this pillar damage even though this really it doesn't have a pillar so to speak like a traditional door pillar there's still a pillar under here that is holding us up and that damage right there is just it's just over the top for me man and that sucks that really sucks this has this has active ride suspension i honestly truthfully guys i did not know that corvettes in 95 had uh, active ride handling i was not aware of that but there it is she's got active ride active ride suspension or active suspension active handling whatever the hell you want to call it uh that's right there's a forgive me guys it's been a while since i put my hands on a c4 there's a little you got to lift it up push in and pull down there you go keeps you from getting your hands cut off things like that you know it's kind of important man what a beautiful car should we try to start it lots of glass in here too yeah, the seats are in good shape the door panels in good shape which is so unusual for a car like this uh, no let's get a booster pack and fire it up all right guys let's see what this thing will do but it fires right up oh yeah oh yeah yep all right there we go that's what i'm talking about right there she runs great one thing i did notice the tires completely bald from here over same thing with the other front tire as well i'm not quite sure what happened to these tires but uh look at this guys something very weird going on there i've never seen wear quite like that before that's a hell of a bad alignment or something or maybe the alignment is way off and they drove it like this oh wow Ugh. no power steering so we won't run it long also it's something you never want to see service ride control well Dang. Looks like the dash is in good shape. Instrument cluster appears to be in good shape. Man, she runs well, guys. She really does. Everything is looking really good on this car right now. Here is your ride control right here. So touring, sport, and performance unfortunately it is non-functional so put it in gear oh yeah man what a shame guys it was a really nice car next we have a 2006 audi a8 and i know you all are probably sitting there going don't do it don't worry i don't think I have any intention of of messing with this one. Uh, I can't say for sure because I haven't heard it run. If it fires up and it runs and it's quiet and it's not blowing smoke or anything, hey, maybe. Let's see what we got going on here. It's got a nice looking body. Looks like we're missing the lens cover over here. All right. Yeah, it's got your typical 4.2. And I've had so many people warn me about these Audis, man. They're like, stay away from the 4.2 timing chain issues. I've heard that there are horror stories about valve issues. Let's take a look at the interior now that we've had a nice, well, we've walked around it twice. The tires don't look particularly good, but I mean, they're probably okay. Nothing special. The interior actually looks really, really nice on this. This is very clean. It smells good too. Let's see what it looks like back here. Pretty decent. Okay. Boy, those doors are heavy. It's a good sized car, guys. It really is. Uh, what is this? We got a fob thing that fell on the floor. Here is the fob. And we do have power, which is unusual for a European car, right? Let's put the key in and see what she does.
Adaptive air suspension. It's on lift mode. So I'm assuming there's a... Do automatic. And it should, yep, I feel it lowering itself down. How about that? So the air suspension appears to be working because it was sitting all the way up. It's still lowering. Boy, that dinging noise is annoying as all hell. As far as warning lights, we have a brake indicator, windshield washer fluid, tire pressure monitor, and that's it. Other than that, she sounds healthy. Let's put it in gear. Backup monitoring works, which is really nice. Go forward, goes forwards. Okay, I'm actually, <laughs> I know you guys are like, don't do it, Randy. Important window works? Yes, it does. I actually really like this, guys. I really, really do. We'll give that suspension a little time to go down. We'll play with it again, raise it back up. Oh, wow. Oh, this is very clean. I like this. God, I know better. I do. You guys have all warned me to stay away from these cars. I've kind of always wanted one, though. I just want to drive it. She purrs like a kitten. Listen to that. Let me go in here and see if we can drop the air suspension down just a little bit more. Is it still dinging? Are you kidding me? Good night. The car needs to stop with it, man. It's making too much noise. It's still dinging. You've got to be joking, dude. Shut up. Is there a way to turn that off? Oh, it's got a push button start? Really? So do you not need the key to be in it, or do you? I don't know. No, you don't even need the key in it. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Let's turn it to dynamic and lower the suspension down a little more. Ding. Service. Service what? Passenger airbag off. Top up washer fluid. Oh, shut up. My. And brake pads. Okay, so, so no big deal. No big deal. Looks like the car has decided it's leveled out. It's happy. Let's turn air conditioning on and see if it works that's also very important here we go and she's running so smooth guys very smooth and it, i would stop the damn dinging already it's pissed off because now the hood is open like i know the hood is open i got it how do you turn on how do you turn on air conditioning like how do you uh I mean, I've got it on low, but I don't know if the AC is actually... Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. There's the AC. It works. It does. We have nice cold air, guys. What do you think? Oh, wow. I want it. I do. I do. Let's get out and take a look at the... Uh... Oh, somebody's fighting up here. These are Nichette. Nichette. Somebody about to fight, huh? Uh, these, these guys over here about to box. Huh? Oh my goodness. Okay, anyway. Anyway, sorry guys. Hopefully they hopefully they don't bring that bull that drama over here to me. Uh-oh, he's getting out the truck. He's getting out the truck. They're about to box. Is about to box. It's about to go down. It, wow. That just happened right in the middle of my video. Anyway, guys, I apologize. I probably I don't know if I'll be able to cut that out or not, but uh, 
some dudes come up here acting crazy man so i uh, battery died and there's that whole confrontation issue that i i'm not i'm not trying to i'm not trying to mess around with any of that but anyway uh there's smoke started coming out from the engine bay like over here it's oil burning probably off the valve cover so that's something for me to take into consideration i'm gonna look up how hard it is to do valve cover gasket and then you got to cross your fingers and hope it's actually the valve cover gaskets and not something more serious either way though the car seems like the air suspension is working properly it runs great it goes into gear cold air conditioning the important window works what more do you want it's probably best to stay away from this. I'll keep that in mind. And listen, just, just a little piece of ice, please, guys. Don't come out here to Copart and start acting a fool, okay? These guys don't need it out here. They're out here working all day in this heat and stuff. They don't need people coming out here acting crazy. They just don't. So please, come out here, be respectful, and be mindful of the forklifts. There are forklifts rolling around, guys. These things are ginormous. They could run you over and probably wouldn't even notice you were there. So please, when you come out here, be mindful, be respectful, pay attention to your surroundings, for God's sakes. Let's move on to the next one. These people, man. Next is a 2014 Ford Explorer that I thought was a police car. I thought this was an ex-cop car just because of the way it looked. Now that I'm here in person, I can see that somebody wanted it to look that way. Um, it's got mercury center caps and somebody painted the wheels black. So it, it's got the look of a police car, but in reality, it's not and it never was. It's got 95,000 miles on the odometer. Looks like it had a little bit of an accident. I don't know why we've got X's here. Something happened, but I don't see, I don't see anything wrong. Oh, scrapes, I see it, I see it. You gotta look, can you see that? Can you see that on camera? It's got scrapes going down all over here. So apparently it went through something. There's scrapes going down the door, scrapes going down the fender, and this front bumper definitely lightly impacted something. Honestly, that doesn't look bad. That doesn't look bad at all. You could probably hit this thing with some good polishing compound or cutting compound, and it'd probably look all right. 95,000 miles, so it's not it's not too bad on miles. It's got the 3.5 liter. I'm not sure if this is the twin turbo EcoBoost or not. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, oh, man. Well, I missed that. Uh <laughs> I chalked that up to my bad. I didn't see that it was rear-ended also. I didn't see that. Yeah, so ugh, this rear hatch took a really good hit. I'm going to assume since this is flex fuel. Oh, good Lord. This is disgusting. This is really nasty, guys. Really nasty. Really, really dirty. Ugh, that's a motorized hatch. It doesn't appear to be functioning. So yeah, we've got more damage along the sides here. This thing is basically just banged up all over the place. Uh, this is a run and drive. So <laughs> this thing there, I don't think there's a panel on this SUV that doesn't have damage. Let's take a look under here because I don't think this is the twin turbo. I think this is just a naturally, it is. Yeah, it's just a naturally aspirated uh, 3.5 liter though, huh? I thought that, the, that all 3.5s were uh, twin turbo. Look at that. I learned something new today. Looks really looks decent under here. Everything's relatively clean. It's full on oil. It'll probably fire up and run just fine. But with all the damage, I don't think this is one I'd be interested in. Let's go ahead and fire it up. Oh, there's cigarette ashes everywhere. Smoker's car. Well, everything comes to life just fine. We're not doing that. And let's turn this air conditioning down. How the, where's the, uh, what the hell? There we go, come on, turn that down. We've got a low tire pressure warning light. Other than that, that's it. It does, it runs good, I said it would. It goes right into gear. Goes into gear just fine. Is the important window work? Yes, it does. Okay. Now, well, guys, I'm not gonna lie to you. I did not see the pictures of the rear hatch. I probably just skipped right by it. Um, didn't realize it. The tires are cracking and dry rotted really, really badly. The so tires are in extremely bad shape. Now, somebody may have had a 
uh, an aftermarket set of wheels on this. So that may be why these have drive rotted like that. They're probably just sitting. But this car just has far too much damage all over it for me to be interested in it. So that's a wrap. Next on my list is a 2009 Chevy HHR. And hey, it's another one, man. You kind of got to love it or you hate it. You know, there's not much of an in-between on these personally. I love them. Always have, and I like the PT Cruisers too. 162,000 miles. So this one's got some miles on her. She's got a little bit of damage in the rear quarter section here. Honestly, on something this old and something with this many miles, you don't need to worry so much about dings, dents, scrapes. Look, if it runs and it drives and it's got cold air conditioning and reasonably decent tires, somebody will buy it, man. Somebody will buy it. This is definitely on my list, of course, uh, contingent upon how it runs. Interior looks decent thus far. Don't let these seats scare you. I know it looks bad. I do. I know that looks really bad. And it is. But a good detail, get that right out. GMs of this era were just notorious for seats that you could literally spill nothing on it but water. You could just spill a little bit of water onto it, guys, and it would stay in the seat. I, I don't know why they were like this. It looks absolutely horrible, but you put a good cleaning to this thing should come out all right so first thing i notice is the door handle missing so i'm not going to close the door on myself next thing i notice is the light up here is really dim so it's not going to start i also notice it's got crossroads chevrolet keychain probably for when they bought it probably very likely a one owner very likely a one owner we've got multiple key fobs and keys and of course i knew it wasn't going to start no surprise there a little dirty but she'll clean up we will grab the booster pack and we'll fire this sucker up and we'll take a look at the tires see how she runs all right so this hood was very sticky it, it almost didn't open almost couldn't get this hood open at all Let's see what she sounds like nope. nothing we got nothing hmm Let's try this again here, guys. Maybe we've got a weak ground. Let's try it again. Nothing? Huh. Technical difficulties, guys. Let's see. Let's try to force feed it and see if that makes a difference. Try it. No. Okay. We'll be back. Okay. I have removed my ground from where it says ground and I have moved it over here to a ground strap. Let's see if that works. Go ahead. Try it. Hey, there we go. Make sure the alternator is charging. And it is good. Very good. Wow. Almost 15 volts. 15.2. There we go. Okay. We'll shut this off get it out of the way so there's no mishaps with it oh look at that beautiful color beamer man i love that gold color and let's not forget to put the cover back on there all right guys she is running very well very well i like this one i think this is a good one guys and i know you can't check the oil with the hood open i'm just trying to get an idea Make sure there's no milkshake. Looks good. Do we have a tranny dipstick on this? We don't. No. No trans dipstick on these guys. But we definitely got a little blow by. Not the worst I've seen. And it does have some miles on it, so that's something to take into consideration as well. Okay, hood is latched solidly closed. Now it's time to check a couple things on the interior. Uh, number one, turn off the door, the uh, radio. We won't close the door because there's no door handle. The important window works. That window works. That window works. And that window works. 
Good news, change oil soon. Tire pressure monitor, check engine light. Let's put it in gear. Backward. It does go forward. It does go backward. Next. I heard the compressor kick in, so we should have AC. Ah, this is supposed to pop open. There we go. There's not really anything in there, but at least it works. We have power steering. That is good as well. Okay. Yeah, nice cold air. I think I'm sold on this one, guys. I'm going to shut it off. Probably need a battery as well on this one. Let's check the tires. We've got, what do we got? Uh, Viva 3. Goodyear Viva 3 with really good tread on the back. And up here we've got a prime well. So we got mismatched tires. But the good news is we have excellent tread on the front too. So it looks like somebody at least changed the tires. Hopefully in pairs. Tell me we got a prime well. We do. We got a prime well with excellent tread on the front. And probably, uh, it's not a Viva 3. It's an Ecopia. Okay. So we've got mismatched tires. No. Yeah. At least all of the tires have tread, so I'll take it. I'll take it. I think this could be a. Uh, I think this could be a good little flip car when it's done, cleaned up. Let's see what we got back here. The spare tire and everything I think is under there. Yeah, needs a good cleaning. It's nothing that uh, the Auto Spa LLC can't handle. We're gonna watch this one, guys. Let's see what happens. Next, we have a 2008 Jeep Wrangler that, uh, well, unfortunately, it got a little hot-headed. Caught itself on fire. Oh. Well, I was hoping maybe it was a small engine fire. It's not. She's done. Damn, man. One day, guys, one day, I'm gonna buy one of these. I am. It's got the winch, look at these. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a ton of good parts. A ton of usable parts on this. Oh, uh, that's, that's cool, I like that. I like that a lot. Let's see how the interior looks, it smells. Uh, honestly, I expect it to smell a lot worse. It's not horrible. Look at these. It's a, it's a mix of air freshener and, uh, and fire. <laughs> it's, it's a very, very unique smell. Boy, they, they went all out with this, didn't they? All over. Should we see if it'll start? I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Man. I wonder what happened. You know, it was probably... I mean, I hate speculating. Okay, I love speculating. But I'm going to guess. A lot of people put lights all over these things, man. They put a lot of accessories on these. A lot of people would rather spend the money uh, on more accessories than spending the money having them professionally installed. So a lot of people that shouldn't be installing stuff, well... Unfortunately, they end up installing stuff, and a lot of times that leads to improper installations, uh, circuits that aren't fused properly, uh, circuits that have too high of a load or too high of a fuse capacity for the wires to handle, and you end up with uh, you end up with fires. Now, like I said, I don't know what happened to this one. I'm not I'm not making any any. Uh, well, I guess I kind of am. <laughs> I'm not insinuating that this was user error at all. I'm just making a statement. You know, it is it is one of those things that happens quite often where people just, people want to save money, install stuff themselves, and, you know, a lot of times that gets you into trouble if you don't know what you're doing. Either way, it was a beautiful Jeep. It still is. Man, I'd, lo I'd love this setup just because of the fire, you know. Nah, gonna have to pass. Tell me to stop right now. Guys, you know how I love these weird, unique, different cars. And I can honestly say I've owned a lot of cars. I've never owned a limousine. And right now, I am in love. A hundred thousand miles on these old Lincolns shouldn't be anything. We got a light, nice little spider here. Yeah, okay. You can just go on with your bad self. Don't jump on me now. Uh-uh. I'm not into spiders. No, sir. So you could see where they had grafted this on to the original body where they stretched it. And you can see it's kind of split at the seam right here. 
hopefully you can see where it's starting to split either way guys oh, oh man oh i haven't been this excited in a long time oh yeah oh yeah of course she starts right up what is this thing oh intercom okay let's turn this down start with that it does have cold air so there you go okay so this is just like shows you what's going on the partition up and down doesn't appear to work or maybe that's not a button hell i don't know i don't know how to work this guys i've never had a limousine before maybe you work it from uh ooh. this was on fire i smell fire oh i really smell fire something in here was on fire something burned Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, well, there's your transmission tunnel. Ooh, it is hot in here. Oh, ho, ho, man. Guys. <laughs> Woo, look at this. Look at this. Oh, I get down with this. Oh, we got like a light show over here got you a little light show you got a, a, a TV right there got all your place for your liquor champagne your glasses your brewskis oh man I still man I smell fire look at this woodwork up here with the mirror mmm you know what I'm thinking I get myself in trouble with one of these get myself in big trouble with one of these this is nice I'm not gonna lie this is nice it's real nice I'm going to, as ungracefully as possible, eject myself from the vehicle. Guys, it runs great. Michelin tire is all the way around in great shape. The top is in its okay shape, but I wouldn't call it, I wouldn't call it good. I think, I gotta find this, man. I, I smell, uh, wait a minute, bingo, bingo. Oh, there's fire extinguisher stuff back there. Right there. There it is. There it is. Let's see if we can get back here and see what the hell is going on. Oh. Oh, wow. So there's a bunch of wires, USB connections, a bunch of fire extinguisher stuff. And this is obviously some kind of a control module that probably runs everything in the back. All the accessories back there, and it is burnt to a crisp. Yeah, there she is. It still has power going to it? There's a green light on. Oh, wow. I can't believe that thing is still on. I would have thought someone would have disconnected that. Like the limo company or, or whoever, they obviously knew about this. Oh my, well, whew. the AC up front is great. However, it appears nothing in the back is working at all. And I guess that makes sense because whatever that control module is there probably operates everything in the back. Let's pop the hood. This has got like no miles on it guys, no miles at all. It's one of those things you could probably drive it anywhere and everywhere forever. Oh, we got lots of additional stuff under the hood for the added accessories. We've got extra solenoids, some weird vacuum actuators. We've got uh, fuses that have been pulled. Okay, good, good, good. So even though it does appear there's some power back there, they've obviously pulled. You can see these wires got really hot and melted. So. It should be good then. It should be good. They pulled the important fuses. It's got a double alternator. See that right there? You got your original alternator right here. An accessory alternator bracket driven off of the same belt. Very interesting, guys. I've never seen one of these before. But this is really cool. This is really cool. And I know it makes no sense to buy something like this. And obviously, I got nowhere to put it. But I'm telling you right now, if the bids go cheap enough on this, this is mine. I'm sorry, this isn't mine, this is ours. 
This belongs to AAR gang, man, right here. Just have to see what happens because it does run i guarantee it goes into gear everything factory with the car probably works fine it's only going to be the accessories for the back that don't work oh yeah right into gear man like it's nothing like it's nothing let's check the trunk golly could you imagine driving something like this boy i would be i would ride this every day every day it's got a full-size spare fire extinguisher and there is the additional battery right there that runs off that alternator and here's a bunch of uh, a bunch more wiring stuff back here that's been disconnected uh, an actual plug-in right there yeah we could probably figure this out if we could find that piece that module and replace it along with some of the wiring uh, from under the hood I think we might be able to put this thing back together and make it work again I don't know. Comment below. Tell me what you think of the Lincoln Town Car. She's not perfect. She's got some dings and dents, and the top's not perfect either. But, And it's definitely not something that could sell. You're not going to sell this. Nobody's going to buy this. But, <laughs> well, I don't know. The more I talk about it, the more I think maybe we shouldn't buy this. Let's move on to the next one. Last on my list, guys. No, it's not this. Good Lord. Wow. Man. Uh, whew. This F2 Nifty. It's an F-250. I don't know the year. Tires are decent. Wheels look all right. 188,000 miles. What year are we looking at here? An 03. An 03 F-250. So what is this? The I believe it's 6.0 liter power stroke, right? Is that from here? Because if so, it looks like she is leaking, which is, that's nothing new for a power stroke, guys. No, it ain't from here either. It actually looks very good under here clean dry very nice very nice uh, body's a little rough Ooh, what's going on here yeah i could be wrong but it almost looks like someone had sectioned the rocker panel or maybe these are made that way oh that's rusted out yeah that's rusted out and i hate what do they call these is this a super crew Guys, comment below, because I always get it wrong. A super cab, super crew. I can't remember. Oh, wow. Look at the rust down there, guys. Ooh, lots of rust. These doors, guys, the reason I don't like these is, be look at this. You see the way it closes? Especially with the rotted out rocker down there. These things rattle. When you drive, you hit bumps. They just rattle, rattle, rattle. It's something fierce. It's horrible. If you take any kind of a long trip, it'll get on your nerves. Let's let the glow, glow plugs warm up here. Turn off the radio. Uh, glow plugs worked fast. Ooh. Ooh. Well, let's try that again. That's not good. That's not good. I'll give her one more opportunity. I noticed the gas gauge is on empty, so she may have lost her prime. There we go. There we go. There we go. She's missing bad. Real bad. It's running on its own. Air conditioning is cold. She's misfiring real bad, guys. Let's pop the hood. Have a look-see. say nope 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 no 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 not doing it oh, she's smoking real good look at that yeah, let's go ahead and shut this off damn 
Oh well, I already got a diesel truck. We don't need another one. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this Copart walk around. If you enjoyed the video, do me a huge favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Let YouTube know that you like the video so that they can share it with other people who may also like it. It really does help the channel. If you're not subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Click the bell icon to stay up to date on future videos. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, Auto Auction Rebuilds, and leave your comments down below. But do me a favor, comment below what was your favorite vehicle in today's Copart walk around. I want to know. With that, I'm going to get out of here. Stay safe out there, everybody. I will catch you all very soon in the next one. But wait, there's more. If you stayed tuned to the very end of the video, I decided to throw in a little bit of bonus footage that Jessica found for us. Yes, thank her for this. An ambulance. Okay, it's an ambulance. My daughter used to call it an ambulance. Ambulance. And I always thought it was just like the cutest thing ever. Oh, it's locked? No. Oh, come on. Come on, man. Don't tease us. Don't tease us. Look at that. Yeah, we threw one more in for you guys because I know a lot of you click off early. A lot of you don't have patience to sit through the video. So for the ones that do, something special just for you guys because this is freaking cool, man. This is cool. wonder if you can get in the back back there. I wonder if it'll start. Oh, there's no key. Oh, wait, here's the key. I found the key. Here's the key. Nope. Damn, that is a doornail. Oh, that sucks. But we got all our buttons. This would be something to keep an eye on, right, guys? Wouldn't it be cool? We had a police car. And wouldn't it be cool if we bought our own ambulance? Man, I wonder why this thing's sitting here for. This thing looks practically new. Oh, maybe I don't want to go in. I'm thinking about the whole situation we're in right now. And it's like, do I really want to... Oh, it's locked too. Damn. Damn. What if I told you that we had a key for the back and we could get in because I believe this key right here opens the rear end of this thing so we might be able to actually get in. Let's see. Nope, that key doesn't go to it. This key? No. Yes. Yes. Ooh, what is that? A sky, a striker. What is that for, for the gurney, huh? That's how you load the gurney up on there. I feel, I feel sick just opening the door. I'm serious. Like just, it's creepy, man. Like you don't, you don't know what, well, I mean, you do know what's happened in here. You know, there's people didn't make it to the hospital and something like this. Whew. It just, you get a real eerie feeling if you've never been in an ambulance before. Like you, you kind of open the door and it's like, whoo, man. And you don't want to, you don't want to. Got all these lights and oxygen. It's for your oxygen tank right here. I don't know what this is for, but yeah, I don't know what the hell that is. But your oxygen tank goes here, and here you can adjust the level of your O2. You can play with your own lights. Whoop, whoop. I'll turn all that off, because next time somebody goes to start this up, it, <laughs> I mean, I would do it to be funny, but I'm not sure Copart would find it very funny. I don't think they'd find that entertaining at all. So I'm not I'm not going to do that to them. Can you imagine they get up front, go to turn on the key, and all the sirens and lights go off, and it'd probably scare the living crap out of somebody. So, yeah, it'd be fun, but we're not going to do that. No, no. There we go. Take that out. In fact, I'm going to lock it because it was locked before. Make sure it's locked. There we go. We'll put the key back where we got it from. Now we're out of here, guys. Thank you for taking the time to watch all the way to the end.